Hello everyone, I'm Zen and welcome back to Hordes of the Underdark. Yes, so we are finally in the Underdark and the seer here, which is... doesn't really say the name of the draw goddess, which is good. Uh, I'm not sure which goddess she serves, but she wants us to kill the Valshares, and so does Halaster because he's a son of a bitch who cast Aegeus on us. And as everyone knows, Aegeus compels one to do something, which means we're gonna die Greetings. if we don't do it. And we do want Natera to join us because she's, I think she's a rogue, maybe multi-class rogue, and that's useful for us because I mean, we don't need to be solo here, right? The Roar regards you with a curious expression as you approach her. A pale bro arch, arched. So now you know everything. The Valshares, who we are, why we're here, all of it. What we're doing here is very important. Yeah, I don't know all of it because I didn't ask you many questions, because that's not important, really. So, um... Uh, Uh, I'm doing what I must for the good of all. Yeah, because I'm a paladin, I'm good. Brody, those words don't come from the Gias Halaser placed upon you, do they? No, because Gias, a Gias doesn't make me say things. It just compels me. If I don't do the thing, I die. That's basically it. So fuck you, Matilda. Uh, no, of course not. Thera studies you closely, and after a moment, not sorry. Then perhaps the seer was correct. After all, I suppose we shall see. After all, you don't, you don't believe her, stupid bitch. I hate Dro. They are evil. Is there something else you need from me? Yeah, would we be willing to join me? I need a rogue to open traps and uh, disarm chests, disarm locks. I will help you against the Valshares, as I always have. But first, you should know something of the challenge that lies ahead. Many of those who spurred the Valshares, like the Iglid and the Beholders, dwell in the caverns to the west of the village. The western caverns are also the likely source of her undead horde. We may be able to remove these allies from her cause. I know something about each of those groups, so don't be afraid to ask me for information if you need it. Uh, will you join me now? After our green seemingly believed. I was hoping you would ask, I would gladly join you with you. Far better to be active than wait here for the Valshares to act. Hey, what are you? A wizard, rogue, assassin. I hate you already, because you probably have very low... I was... Uh... Where is it? Shit, I didn't see it. Uh... Does she not have it? Tumble, tom, spot, spellcraft, set trap, touch, ride, persuade, date. You stupid bro, you you are a rogue and you cannot you don't know how to disarm traps. Fuck. Okay. This is a short sword of quickness. Which gives her haste. It's a very good weapon. Though we want Death Slayer in her right hand it's a very good weapon against undead it's a plus five weapon which gives her dexterity it gives positive energy yeah it's a really good weapon and short sword here a dagger plus three i think she doesn't get penalties what's her second weapon uh 15 17 so no it has to be tiny Or maybe this is not a plus... Yeah, this is only a plus one weapon. But even then, I think having haste for her would be much better. Light cloak... Oh, but I'm gonna give this to Deacon. Oh, I, ha I only won one once? Okay, that's no problem. Deacon wants your weapons right now. Yeah, it's a plus two, so it's a good bonus. And plus four bolts, so that's something. 
Okay, great. What kind of armor do you have? You have a Shadow Legion armor, which gives you a plus 4, plus 5 to high. That's useless. Uh, you have your maximum dexterity reached. That's plus 23. Do you at least have weapon finesse? Yeah, at least you have it. Okay, that's, that's good. Weapon Marshal, because why would she not have this? Overing fighters, paladins, and rangers are not automatically proficient. So she wasted a feat on martial proficiency. Why would she need it? She has a right rapier from the elf, right? Yeah, from the elf uh, race, she has rapier proficiency. Death attack. Uh, at least that's something. Sick attack she has. Yeah, so that's 2d6 and 2d6, 5d6 from sneak attacks. And the dexterity, at least she has it also. Okay, I mean, I can also steal the dagger from her. She doesn't need it. She has a greater boot of tumbling. Uh, tumbling is really useful. It gives you AC. And armor bonus plus 4. So, she has a lot. And Natira's cloak is... Hide and move silently. It's a plus five deflection. Okay, that's nice. Damage reduction from plus six and soak ten damage. That's a really great enhancement. Uh, you have a fortitude ring. Resistance. That those are universal. But does it also do it for fortitude? Yeah. So yeah, those stack. So her having uh, very high saving throws will also be useful. Those aren't as high as mine. Mine lowest is 18, her lowest is 12, so it's a plus 6. Just there. She would like some... Yeah, why would she? She's not trained in disabled traps and open lock. So it's useless for her. I do, however, want, because I remember I had it. I do want to find traps there. Okay, great. This took seven minutes. That's perfect. Um, boss. Yes, what is the king? Um, we is really in underdark. We is really, really in underdark. Yeah, I know. I'm very happy about. <laughs> I'm not very happy about that about that either. You not be happy? The King Stone is incredulous, and he stares at you as if you have suddenly turned into a green ape. Why you not be happy? This is this be wonderful! The King runs around on the spot, waving his hands in the air excitedly. The King read so much about the Underdark. Now they can actually be here. This be so good for the King's book. Epic hero goes to the deadly Underdark. Sequel will be greatest book ever. Uh, right, wonderful, let's... You mean you're not scared to be in the Underdark at all? Scared? The King wants so bad to travel to Underdark earlier during journeys, except he knows he just ends up slave to tentacle hatch or fed to draw spider, maybe. But now, now they can be in the Underdark with the great epic hero. The King gets to travel Underdark while solving the urgent mission of DOOM! That'd be really, really cool, boss! <laughs> I should kill you now, Rodan. Why? Why would you do this to Deacon? I mean, I suppose you're right. Oh, Deacon is right. You come around to Deacon's way of thinking soon, boss. This be greatest adventure, you see? Okay, great. We have great adventures with great Deacon. So, we have training grounds there. Mayor Public House. We have merchants, we have training ground, house mavier. Oh, so there's two different ones the ale gardens, armory, and forge. We will be wanting to use that. Let's meet our public house. I guess Miathar is maybe the goddess? I'm not sure. Public house, the docks. So we do want to go talk with the merchants. Oh, book piles. Is this sitting? 
They don't have anything. Okay, hi, wizard Gatris. Go. Uh, Golchris. Okay. It's a difficult name to pronounce. This draw is obviously a mage of great power. He stares at you intently, as if you're uh, as if trying to read your very thoughts. After several uncomfortable seconds, he finally speaks. You are the one to see your photo, are you not? Normally, I don't put much faith in her visions, but you seem capable for a surfacer. I am Golhurst, High Wizard of the House Mavir. I have a large inventory of magical supplies you might find useful in your efforts to defeat the Balsharess. Given the circumstances, my prices are quite reasonable. <laughs> Can't you just give me items? No, he can't because he's not sure if I'm gonna succeed. Okay, so this is the wizard, which doesn't doesn't really have anything useful. I mean, we could spend eighty thousand on this nymph cloak, but I don't think we want to spend cash on items because we are gonna use that forge there. But we do want to check, maybe he has a good thing here, for example, a magical armor plus 5 is useful. Uh, a ring of... I mean, having more reflection would be nice. Uh, something like the ring of protection plus 6. However, I mean, yeah, I guess we could. That's 100,000 though, so probably not. We do have Resurrection, we don't need scrolls. Oh yes, Forever is a great bow. Because it costs 280,000 gold pieces. However, it has unlimited ammo, which is 1 to 6 fire. So, unlimited fire arrows. It's a mighty plus 5 bow, which means we get up to plus 5 modifier from our strength. And by itself, it's also a plus six weapon. This is a really, 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 really nice weapon. Especially if you have the modifier as an archer for strength. Uh, don't really have a long sword, do you? Okay, what I'm gonna do now is basically there's gonna be a cut here when while I sell a lot of stuff to this person here. So. Be back in just a moment. Okay, great. So, we have sold all of our stuff, which means uh, we have, let's see, 321,000 gold pieces. So, here we have this resolver. He can upgrade our weapons. Well met. This troll smith looks up from his forge, his face streaked with sweat and soot. You're that surfacer, this the surfacer this seer has been waiting for, aren't you? I wondered how long until you wandered out of my way. The name's Resolver, master craftsman and weaponsmith extraordinaire. And you're Gregory Goodman, right? Pleased to meet you. If there's anything you need, I'm here to help. Feel free to look over my inventory. Or if you want, I can upgrade your weapon for you. Oh, you can upgrade weapons? Didn't I tell you? I'm a master craftsman. I can take any weapon and make it better, if you give me enough gold. Uh, how does this work? My work is somewhat different from the smiths who proud themselves with giant hammers. I'm a craftsman, an artist. I use my skill and powerful magic instead of brute force. Just bring me a weapon and I can use ma the magic of my forge to improve it. I can add enhancements, I can debut it with powers of fire, ice and lightning. Whatever you need, I can do. I see you've got a weapon right there in your hand, would you like me to upgrade it? Ah, uh, not yet. Thank you very much. And this is where there's gonna be a second cut, because I have to figure out how I want to improve my Holy Avenger. Because Aramon's Blade is really nice and all of that, but I can upgrade, if I can upgrade my Holy Avenger to be a plus 7 weapon, it's gonna be better than this. Because uh, it has, this property is very important, it can, it's possible for me to 
this spell is something on hitch and that's I think 20 or 50 percent so with 5 or 50 percent I, I can't really remember so uh, and it's a paladin weapon so we want to upgrade the holy avenger as far as we can so there's gonna be another cat here and we'll be back okay then this should be enough I mean it's not as much as I would have wanted this is my Holy Avenger right now. So it's a plus 5 weapon Holy Avenger. It doesn't really give us... I dislike that there's the battle music going on. But uh, it's still a plus 5 weapon. So it doesn't do much that it's a plus 5 weapon. However, we have that made keen. And it's so possible. We can... I'm pretty sure I can give about 20... Uh, about 20, fuck. <laughs> about four uh, different enhancements so we are gonna do the enhancement bonus up to plus 10 uh, we need something about let's see five times this normally takes up to plus five 70 uh, 50,000 so 250,000 50,000 for gold we will want Permanent haste on my weapon and spell resistance on my weapon. So that's 225,000. But for this, uh, I think this will be the most important because if we give four uh, upgrades, after that, I don't think I can give any more. I'm not sure at least. So, so we will first want this weapon to be. And permanent haste isn't as important because we have the boots of speed. 20 spell resistance isn't that good, isn't that important because just being holy avenger this gives me what 16 spell resistance so it's quite okay. So we will be spending all of our money to upgrade it up to plus 10 uh, and that's gonna be all if, if you want to think something about Swords, and that means we have two more armor class because we don't have Alaramil. I'm not sure. There's still a bug there, so we could make it cheaper for us uh, to do it like this. If we talk to them, if we equip this mace, right? Well it's a plus. It's a plus zero mace. It costs fifty thousand, and if we replace this we are gonna we would pay 50,000 and it would increase the enhancements on this I think by plus one I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure if it would be just one or something like that but we will check this when we can that's why I have this mace at the ready it can be here it's kind of an exploit but hey if you use the this uh, forge master here, then it is basically an exploit. So Greeting. we are gonna sell the Enseric long sword. We don't care about him. We also don't care about Aramil's blade anymore. I mean, we lost basically two bonus attack and two damage. However, it being a plus five weapon. Is useful is useful if we stumble upon someone who actually has reduction plus five. And I hate this music, so yeah, let's just go inside. Who is this building? This tower is the stronghold of House Mavior. Since the rebel refugees arrived, Matron Miron has secluded herself inside. No one is allowed to see her. Who is she? She is the ruler of House Mavior. Sir and her rebel followers are here at the pleasure of my matron Mirun, but the matron is not seeing visitors at this time. Okay, yeah. What we do want to do is to go to the public house of Mavir. Because... Yeah, I like how we still have our cape visible. That's nice. Romail. So you see there's only one person important here, right? It's Zesser Mavia. And we do want to talk to her. Oh, there's a raw chest here. Is it a chaotic thing to take something from here? No, it's not. They 
they should be happy to help me. I like it. Yeah, Thief Souls, why would I take them? It's useless. Uh, Nathera is useless. A uh, good thing I have Pine Traps and uh, Commander's Ring. Okay, hello, Zesir. Get on with it. This female draw appears younger than many of the others in the camp, though it is obvious from her bearing that he, she is a person of importance. So, you are the reveal the seer has put her faith in. Gregor Goodman, is it? My name is Zesir, only daughter and sole surviving heir to Matron Mirror and Mirun of House Mavier. I was hoping you would come to see me. Gregory Goodman, I have an offer for you, but it would draw too much attention if I had sought you out. But since you've stumbled over to me... Oh, what kind of offer? House Mavir, my house, has ha fallen on hard times. Matron Mirun, my mother, has brought us to the very brink of destruction. Many believe it is time for a change. Many believe I should rule. Of course, my mother is no fool. She understands the danger I represent, which is why she exiled me from the tower where she now dwells. She thinks she's safe inside the high walls. Obviously, she isn't as safe as she thinks. I know this is how we are brought up, but there is another path you can take, one that isn't fraught with betrayal and death. Elisteri can... Elisteri is the goddess, yeah. Don't draw your god in my face! We can't all run away to the surface, some of us have to survive down here in the Thunderdark, and that means plotting to assure my own future. My mother thinks I am no longer a threat, but I have more support than she knows. All I need to complete my coup is an assassin powerful enough to kill her and her bodyguard. You want me to kill your own mother? She lost. Surely you aren't surprised, this is the way of the draw. Ma the matron mothers raise their daughters, knowing full well we are scheming to replace them as soon as we come of age. Crusader Kings 2 style things. <laughs> Every Crusader 2 player, Crusader Kings 2 player knows how to betray. The same for, goes for the draw. Are you afraid of being found out? Matron Mirren already suspects I am plotting against her. But rumors and hearsay aren't enough to make her act. She can't kill over her last surviving heir without indisputable proof. If you were to tell her uh, what I told you, I would be just another unsubstantiated rumor. It would be just another one. She's not give going to move against me based on anything you tell her. I'm. What's in it for me? I mean, what do we gain from this? There are the usual compensations, of course, gold or powerful magic items. But helping me is also your, in your best interests, and the interests of the seer. I know my mother. She doesn't believe we can defeat the Falchares, and she's afraid. Do you really believe she will fight by the seer's side when the Falchares attacks? Matron, Matron Mirum will betray your seer the first chance she gets. I, however, actually believe we can defeat the Falchares. I won't turn on my allies at the first sign of trouble. And why should I believe you? Consider this, Gregory, Gregory Goodman. Matron Mirun has lost her ambition. She would rather serve the Valchares than die. I still have my ambition, and I won't bow so easily before our common enemies. Ooh, okay, what do I have to do? My plan is simple enough. I will give you my signet ring. Take this to the guards outside my mother's tower to the north. They will have... Oh, they have already sworn the allegiance to me. Show them the ring, and they will let you into the tower while they'll summon my mother and guard and her guard, Debimar. When they arrive, kill them. If you do this, I will see you're amply rewarded. 20,000 gold pieces. Not to mention the knowledge that House Maver will stand with you when the Valshares come, comes. I mean, 20 is not enough. Do you think I'm some merchant you can barter with, Gregory Goodman? Ah, uh, no, I'm Zesser Mavir, soon to be a matron mother. My fee is not negotiable. Okay, I'm gonna do this. We did not get evil or chaotic, so that's nice. The draw smiles, and you can't help but feel a chill. Excellent. Take my signet ring and show it to the guards by the tower to the north. After that, the rest is up to you. 
satisfied that she has what she wants from you, Zissa dismisses you with a simple wave of her hand. This is a dangerous game, Gregory. Once you become involved in the politics of the draw, you can never be sure who to trust. I hope you aren't getting in over your head. I mean, if she sides with us, that's useful, right? That's good. And I'm pretty sure this is what we have to do. So, let's just go kill the matron mother and that's gonna be it for this episode. So, hello. What do you want? Yeah, I should show you this ring. He suddenly seems very nervous. The sir gave you that. He's ready to move now. He glances quickly from side to side, trying to see if anyone is uh, watching. Some of the guards inside are still loyal to Matron Mother. Uh, others are wavering between her and the seer. The ones who won't fight you, but they won't help you either. Hurry, go inside and we'll summon the Matron. If you act quickly, you can probably cure her, kill her and Captain Tabimara before they realize what's going on. The Matron Mother... Uh, Merun gives you a scornful glance, then turns to the draw beside her. Who is this male, Tebemar? Why did your guards let him in? I'm not sure, Major Mother. Allow me to find out for you. Captain turns to you. Who are you? How did a human male like you get past the guards outside? Uh, yeah, I have to kill you. Okay. We are not evil for this. Okay, she's a wizard, so we want to kill her as soon as possible. Yeah, yep. That's perfect. We have very strong physical hits. Oh, one of them lived. Yep, so... I hope we can take this, maybe, from her mother. Goodbye, mother. No. Okay. Shit. Quickly, secure the tower. Uh, remove the rest of the trash that has been following my mother. Turns to her attention to you. Well done, Gregory Goodman. You have my thanks. Am I evil right now? No, I am the same as I was. You have my thanks, and the thanks of all House Maver. My guards will see you are given the payment we had agreed on. I am glad I could help. There is so much I must do to secure my position as the new matron. Uh, yeah, we will be able to, to go out. The girl will show you out now. Yeah, we couldn't do this. Can we, can we go inside? No, we cannot. That's okay. Well, we get 5,000 experience points and 20,000 gold pieces, which means we can probably improve our sword once again. Nice, isn't it? So, well, this is gonna be this for this episode. So, thanks for watching and remember, if you liked it, push the like button. If you disliked it, push the dislike button. And if you want to see more of my videos in the future, subscribe to the channel. So, until next time.